Good morning and welcome to our daily Timothy time. My name is Carl and I'm coming to you from Pure Bible Study here in Trondheim in Norway. I look outside my window, it's white with snow. It's the most beautiful sight. Today is episode 219 in the Our Daily Timothy Time lineage and it's an and, and just gl simply glory to God that we've come this far. At the end of the month, we uh, uh, if the Lord tarries for a couple more weeks, hopefully the rapture takes place, but if he tarries, this, this ministry will be one year old. Anyway, we've been looking at Ephesians chapter 1 verse 1, the issue of sainthood. Uh, today I just want to give you one more verse to solidify the case so that you would walk away from today going, I am a saint of the Most High God. And that verse I'm going to take you to is out of Romans chapter 1 verse uh, 7, To all that be in Rome, beloved of God, called to be saints, grace to you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. The point I want you to see there, called to be saints. I know this was written to the Romans, but by extension it's written to you and I today. We are in the dispensation of grace, just like these folks were. Anyway, over to Ephesians chapter 1 verse 1. I just want to talk to you a little bit today about um, a, a dear saint asked me to maybe elucidate a bit about Ephesus. Um, Ephesus, to, to the best of my knowledge, was a busy metropolis. Um, I'll leave it at that. You know, you can research a lot about it. Uh, I'm sure the history books would uh, spill information out about Ephesus. Um, we, uh, Paul visit. If my memory serves me correct from reading Acts, Paul went through there twice, and now he's obviously having gone through there, he's writing back to them. We understand that Ephesians is a prison epistle, which means, or another way to view it, it's written. It's not one of Paul's Acts epistles. Okay. This was written after the closing of uh, uh, Acts 28 that Luke penned. Anyway, the issue of being faithful in Christ, um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to bring this up and submit to you that um, the Ephesians, Paul addresses them very much, very differently to how he did the Corinthians. If you go over to 1 Corinthians, in fact, let's just quickly shoot there now. Paul, listen to what Paul has to say uh, in chapter, th chapter, uh, chapter 3. 1 Corinthians 3, And I, brethren, could not speak unto you as unto spiritual, but unto carnal, even as unto babes in Christ. I have fed you with milk, and not with meat, for hitherto ye were not able to bear it, neither yet now are ye able. So the Ephesians are, uh, uh, these, these guys are, these guys are not babes in Christ. They've, they've, They've got the book of Romans down. They understand a few things. They've got their foundation and the inner man edifice laid. Okay. Ephesians. Ephesians is a book of, it's meat doctrine. Okay. It's about the goal of, of, of what God is doing with, the, with creating this new creature, this agency, the body of Christ. It's got to do with the fullness, you know, uh, 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 that in the dispensation of the fullness of times, God's going to gather all together in one, heaven and earth, into one. Christ is going to be the head of, over, over that. And um, it's got to do with the church, the body of Christ, not the Messianic Kingdom Church. So keep that in mind. Also, too, if you go to the book of Galatians, these Ephesians are not like the Galatians being bewitched and pulled away from the gospel that saved them. These Ephesians are, they're faithful. They've heard the message and they've, and they, they, they've stuck to it and they, they, they are, they, they, they matured guys. They're ready for some meat doctrine. Okay, so Paul writes to them. Uh, that word faithful, if you want a bit, bit more of an explanation to it, uh, I'll take you over to Deuteronomy 7. Uh, I read this in my daily read the other day, and it just stood out for me, so I'm going to share it with you. Uh, uh, Deuteronomy 7 verse 9, and now this is to explain to you uh, uh, what it is to be faithful. Just listen to how God is faithful. It says here, Know therefore that the Lord thy God, he is God, the faithful God. Okay, so what does it mean to be faithful? Which keepeth covenant and mercy with them that love him. Okay, so he keeps something. Okay, so these Ephesians, they keep, they, they, they're faithful in Christ. They've kept that message. They, they, they're not carnal. They, they, they're walking the walk, if I can say it like that. They, they're not... Uh, they've got a standing, they understand their standing, and I'm going to venture to say this, that these guys, their standing and their state are consistent, okay? Now, that might be a lot to take in, and uh, perhaps, uh, 
perhaps that might step on some toes. And uh, listen, if 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 you've heard that now and it doesn't sit well with you, hey, let's chat about it. You can put leave a note in the comment box down below, and we can chat about it. Let's be let's be um, let's act like mature saints would. Okay. Anyway. Um, so that's Ephesians chapter 1 verse 1. Now, dealing with that issue of standing and state, I'm, I'm going to suggest you go over to the book of Philippians. And Paul, in fact, I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to say this about uh, standing and state. I'm going to take you to Philippians, um, the last book in Philippians, Paul says this. Now, please read it in the context. Okay. Not that I speak in respect of want, for I have learned in whatsoever state I am therewith to be content. I know both, both how to be abased and I know how to abound. Everywhere in all things I am instructed to both be full and hungry, both to abound and suffer needs. Okay, and then there's, you know, there's a beautiful, verse 13 is a very confused verse out in Christendom. It's not my plan and purpose to, to study that out today, but... Uh, Standing and state. The, so that Ephesians chapter 1 verse 1 is not two groups of people, but, but it is, uh, 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 he's writing to the Ephesians and it's dealing with their standing and their state. Okay, these guys, what's their state? These guys are faithful in Jesus Christ. Okay, question to you, a question to me today, is where, uh, how is your, where are you with your standing and state? Are you consistent? Is it, is it a consistent thing for you? Is your state matching your, 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 your standing in Christ? Now we can all learn from that. And all uh, um, uh, get back in the word of God and, and get our minds renewed so that we can be faithful saints and understand our standing that no matter what state we find ourselves in, we don't look at that. We just remember our position and our, our standing in Christ. And go over to Romans chapter 5 and verse 2 and give that a read. Anyway, it's been fantastic to be with you today. We'll catch up again tomorrow. And uh, I'm hoping to start up a, um, a new textual study. In fact, what I want to do is look at a tract and discuss a tract and to bring to your attention some issues that you might find with tracts that get handed out today. Anyway, time's up for today. It's been great to be with you, and uh, we'll see you again tomorrow. Take care, and Maranatha.